Located at 59 Putnam Street, the Cas Bar is your dining destination if you're in the mood for expertly prepared Moroccan-inspired dishes. As you enter its dining room, you will think you're in Casablanca. Open daily, the Casbah features an extensive array of salads and appetizers, as well as Moroccan dishes, steaks, chops, and local seafood. Other options include a full menu of flatbread pizza. For lighter fare, choose from Casbah's extensive menu of tapas. Speaking of tapas, let's join Chef Nasa in the Casbah kitchen as he prepares some of his simple but tasty small plates along with his signature braised lamb shank. Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to start with uh, braised lamb shank. It's uh, called the tagine kasba. We're going to do with that with some beautiful dried apricots and some dried prunes. I've already um, pre-cooked my lamb. I braised it for about three and a half to four hours. I'm going to add my dried apricots and my beautiful prunes. And I, here I made some caramelized onions with cinnamon. And this is my stock from the lamb. You see how beautiful and thick and rich it is. Just enough to cover. And I'm gonna put a, a little bit of butter for shininess. That's it, that's all I need to do to it since I've already pre-cooked it. It's ready to go in the oven. I love to roast things in the oven. Everything comes out nice and thick and rich. All right, we're gonna make some tapas. And uh, the way we sell our tapas, is either you can get a single one or you can order uh, a combination of four. Right now, I'd like to do the full combination for you. And I love, the, this is my favorite part of the menu, the tapas. They're fun, you can choose any, a bunch of things, vegetarians, fish, uh, shellfish, chicken, meat. I'm gonna start with my Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. It's gonna season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. They've been quartered and they are completely raw. What I like to do is just blanch them with some, some either vegetable stock or whatever, just water if you have it. They're gonna go on till that dries. I like to cover them. Simple. I'm gonna do another one while we're working is a Another simple one is just mushrooms and garlic. Simple as can be. Again, I grab my mushrooms. Season them with a little bit of salt. I don't put pepper yet. I'll do that in a minute. Just put them on high heat. And while we add it, let's do a chicken and garlic. Another big favorite. A little bit of oil, not too much. Wait for the oil to get hot. But here now I'm gonna add my chicken, which just chicken pieces, any, any bits that you have. Small pieces of chicken cut up from any part of the chicken is just fine. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Now I just wanna cook those down a bit, then they're gonna get seasoned. Throw a, a wedge of uh, lemon in there. Got to switch utensils since I touched the raw chicken. You just want to keep cooking these. We'll uncover this. See, it's getting, it's drying up. So what I'd like to do is add a little bit of garlic, a little bit of parsley. A little bit of roasted peppers, I love the color. Don't be shy on the garlic. Now I add my garlic to the mushrooms as well. I have to add the pepper. A little bit of parsley. And I finish it with just a good dose of good, good, good olive oil. Don't be shy on the extra virgin olive oil. See how nice and shiny and beautiful it is. Saute until it's brown, done. I already have my garlic, now all I want to do is the same exact thing. Good dose of beautiful olive oil. 
we just want to sizzle that really good and we're done mushrooms all done two seconds we got all the water out of them now they nice golden brown and so is the garlic done serve them on any plate you want I'd love to use white plates so that way I can see the color of my food it shows nice Same procedure. Cook, finish it with beautiful olive oil. I want to cook the lemon. I want to squeeze it in there and make sure I get it cooked. Back to the Brussels sprouts. Beautiful. Garlic is cooked. Done. Serve it the same way. Freeze them. As you can see, it takes literally minutes to cook. I like to cook these nice. I want to get some brown in them. I, want... I don't want them to taste like they were boiled. We want them nice and crispy, and so is the lemon. This is the, the best part of this dish is that lemon. I want to infuse the flavors with the chicken. Now, I want to get rid of this full extra fat that I have gonna dry it now here's what I would like to do now same procedure I love to use fresh garlic parsley good olive oil if you want to add spicy to it you can more than welcome to a little bit of crushed peppers however you like it doesn't need it but if you like spicy why not just want to get that lemon Kind of get the bottom of the pan with that lemon and just crush it in there and infuse it. I want my garlic to be nice and brown. So is the chicken. As you can see, minutes and you have... You have something for everyone. Looks like our lamb is done. And it was in the oven for about, I'd say, 15 minutes. To put up, you can put rice. I, I, I love the mashed potatoes. You can put rice, couscous, anything you like. As you can see, how gorgeous and caramelized it is. Put it, set it right on top of your whatever you would decide to use for starch. And I like to put this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right on top. I like to sprinkle some toasted sesame seeds. And we're gonna color this ganja with some hard boiled eggs. And this is our tajin kasba with lamb. And by the way, it just won the plate of the year worldwide. Now we're gonna you do the uh, uh, mosaic plate. It has, uh, I like to put a little bit of lettuce in the middle. It's all uh, good, healthy, vegetarian things in it. I like to start with our hummus. This is called the zalouk, and it's uh, eggplant compote. It's a uh, roasted eggplant with preserved lemon, roasted peppers, a little bit of tomato sauce. Also gets cumin and ginger, garlic. It's an amazing, amazing dish if you like eggplant. And on this corner, I like to put our grape leaves which I like to warm up before I serve them. And a falafel would go in the sides like this. For color, I'd like to put a little bit of roasted red peppers, some extra virgin olive oil on the eggplant, on the salad, on the grape leaves. Uh, you can put a little bit of feta if you'd like. I got pita bread that was in the oven, nice and crispy. Cut it into any shapes you would like. Just like to decorate the plate like this. Here you go. Mosaic plate at the Casbah. All right, we're in the dining room of the Casbah with my good friend NASA. Hello. NASA has welcome, been my welcome. NASA has been my friend uh, since you opened. How many years is it now? Sixteen. 
16 long years. 16 long years. Yeah. And you opened up originally, it, it wasn't it's called the Casbah. No, Santa Bistro. Santa Bistro. And you had a different menu. Yes. yes. And uh, now it is the Casbah, which it's been for many, many years. And um, I think we want to discuss the menu because a lot of people, when they, when they see Moroccan food, they kind of shy away from it, you know? It's a shame. Because they don't know. Yeah. All right? But if you come down to the Casbah, you will see that uh, he's got some tremendous dishes and um, as he just prepared all of this. But Nasa, tell us a little about this and how you've kind of put all these little dishes together in your mind. This is almost creatively. Uh, if you're a vegetarian, this is the way to go. Uh, there's grape leaves, uh, falafel, hummus, eggplant, a uh, little bit of salad, pita bread. It's an amazing dish. It's just simple. I keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Just garlic, olive oil. Let the ingredients speak for themselves. Nothing. Right. Nothing. Uh, I don't complicate things. Uh, that's it. This item down here. That this looks is like a it. This is uh, a Moroccan delicacy. It's uh, filo dough uh, stuffed with uh, savory. It's savory and sweet. Stuffed with chicken, eggs, onions and uh, orange blossom water and uh, uh, pureed nuts. Nice. It's absolutely amazing. And it's kind of unusual to see a dish like it that, is. which it's is an appetizer with sugar on it. Yeah, it, it stopped with uh, powdered sugar and cinnamon. Okay. It's amazing. You just got to try it, trust it, and try it. Okay. Five things, they look like um, egg rolls, but yeah, what are those they? those are the cigars. They, again, uh, filo dough mm -hmm. uh, wrapped. Uh, we cut them, uh, we make them in shapes of cigars and then mm -hmm. we cut them. Mm -hmm. uh, one is, the first one here is chicken and garlic. Yep. Second one is salmon and the spinach and feta and brie cheese and honey. Okay. And in front of that, uh, this way, is my favorite salad. The Casbah salad. The Casbah so salad simple. It's simple, just a bunch of ingredients in it that I really love. Uh, again, it's just. You put whatever you like on it. I love to put uh, hard boiled eggs, chickpeas, uh, roasted peppers, baby greens. Those little pickles. The, the, the baby pickles, the cornichons, mm -hmm. and olives, great, uh, cherry, uh, grape tomatoes. Some little things, they're different, they special to me and I love to use them in my salad. Mm -hmm. Now this is a main course right here. This is uh, a casba tagine. Tagine is actually the name of the the plate. The, the plate that it gets served and it's clay mm -hmm. and it's uh it, it it took the name of the tagine the whole dish and it's it's gently stewed uh braised lamb uh, over mashed potatoes and uh hard boiled eggs uh some beautiful beautiful turkish apricots and prunes mm -hmm. i like to sprinkle that with uh, some uh, toasted sesame seeds and uh caramelized onions mm -hmm. now you can serve this with couscous you can serve it with couscous rice any 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 mm -hmm. starch you like okay and this those were uh, my other favorites uh these are white anchovies these are fresh anchovies uh, white anchovies okay. they are uh preserved in uh vinegar as They're opposed to, to in the, the can. The salt. The, okay. Those are the dark, salty, hairy ones. Okay. These are white, delicate anchovies mm -hmm. uh, marinated in uh, vinegar. Nice. I'd like to serve them with just a little bit of crushed pepper and some good, good, good olive oil. Okay. Now you have a bunch of tapas, but you've prepared a couple for us. Yeah, I made uh, a few tapas. Uh, one of them is the chicken and garlic mm -hmm. and lemon. Yep. Uh, mushroom and garlic and the Brussels sprouts and garlic. And when you come in, you, we. Uh, we greet you with some uh, warm bread and mixed up olive and oil and garlic. And that's it. So, tell us about your hours. You're open, um, we are open just about every day? 5, 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. Uh, Monday we are closed. Mm -hmm. And now we added the outdoor seating, so come on down. Uh, soon to have the liquor to be served out in the patio. Okay. And uh, that's it. We're, you have a full service show. bar? Yep, full service okay. bar. Uh, we do the live shows on the weekends. Mm -hmm. and what type of shows? We're doing the live belly dancing mm -hmm. and uh, the jazz is coming back to, to, to the Casbah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And uh, that's it for now. All right. How about uh, functions? Oh yeah, the, the room is open to functions. We do all kinds. Birthdays, rehearsals, weddings, whatever, we do it. Very good. And we custom make any menu. Very good. NASA? Um, it's time to eat. All right. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank We're you. again at the Casbah, 
um, in downtown, or the downtown section of Winthrop, the Winthrop Center, across from the old theater. There's actually two entrances. There's one across from the old theater, and there's also one in the parking lot uh, in the rear. So come on down to see uh, NASA at the CAS Bar in Winthrop. The CAS Bar is open daily from 5 p.m. until 1 a.m., features a full bar service, has function space available for your next event, and features an extensive catering menu for on-site and off-site functions. Treat yourself and someone special to a trip to the Middle East for great Moroccan food at the Casbah. For reservations, call 617-539-4484 or find them on the web at www.casbahrestaurant.com.